Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of Sonic Omens. Previously Sonic and Tails were in hot pursuit of Eggman because Eggman was being evil but you know what else is new. And they made their way through Area 99 which is going to be the main attraction of this episode. signal comes from the depths of zone 99. Since we weren't invited, Gun's raiders can detect us. It's okay. I can go on foot. It's easier anyway. Keep a lookout for a workaround, though. Eggman definitely got past the radars. Wait. Since when did Gun have a lab here? You had an agreement, Sonic. Remember? On guarding the temple, not all of this. Let's go! Here we go! Can't stop now! Watch out! Looks like the security system is targeting me and not Baghead! Alright, and here's Area 99, and oh boy, <laughs> uh, I think this is the, awesome. another one of the best Sonic Sages um, that anyone can have fun with, but, um, uh, for anyone that read that uh, Google document, uh, everyone should know about the music in this area, and this is the part that I don't understand. Tried to slide there, but don't know why I didn't. Um, the music that you're listening to was composed by one named John Rice, the I being the number one. But for some odd reason, um, this music, known to uh, be somewhat of a, or is a ripoff of another track from a, from, uh, Cars 2, the video game. Yeah, I don't know why that is, and I actually listened to it back to back, and I, I got nothing. Like, I don't know how this could be an alternate rift of that track. The signal's coming from here. You know, I, I don't get it, but anyways, um, I'll get there in due time, but one thing I like about this stage in particular is the transition from a desert-like area into the temple, because, yeah, that's exactly what they did. Indeed, they're guarding the temple, but, um, look what they did to it. <laughs> Heavily armed temple. Even Sonic is like, yeah, I thought they were gonna guard the temple, not, you know, turn it into some form of military base. I mean, yeah, the military base guarding the temple? What are the odds? But yeah, short and sweet. This stage is pretty damn good, aside from um, the lasers. And some of the spike houses, but you know, good stage all around. Hey, Tails! Do you see my coordinates? The temple is here. Can you get to it? The valley is really narrow, but I think I can make it. Alright, careful, buddy! Oh dear. Oh my god. It's a Tails level, and this is where performance goes all the way down. <laughs> Seriously, man, um, that sticky note, once again, when it said to optimize your settings, uh, they weren't messing around because this, oh boy, get used to the lag, everybody, because, oh my god, the stuttering and the, uh, constant dips of quality is gonna be present in here. Oh boy, the Infinity Engine is a behemoth to run, but yes. Um, this is what a tail section looks like. 
Tails in the Hyper Tornado, I believe. And honestly, for this stage, um, not bad, but also not great. And the reason for that is the overall control. Because when he's in the plane, yeah, that. Um, running into stuff while boosting doubles the damage. It looks like I can't fly any further. Hmm, there should be a way to open these gates. And the only way to open that gate is to hit two switches, and the best way to find those switches is to follow the cables. Uh, attached on the side of the clips there. Jesus Christ, this performance. Hey, I tried everybody, I really did, but golly. I think on the right track. So yeah, my biggest problem with cities like these, um, no radar. No indicators, so if you get lost, uh, you're just gonna have to fill your way around. Which to me is a huge, huge red flag. Like, I'd rather have a radar so I know where Tills is going, so I don't run around like an idiot for like five to ten minutes trying to figure out where the objective is. So about the performance of these levels, at one point it starts slowing down, but then the frame rate starts kicking up again, and I honestly don't know why that is. It could be rendering issues, but that's all that I can think of when it comes to, you know, like, yeah, right here. The slowdown right here, that's that's a performance dip, and I'm trying my best to not go the wrong direction because that happened to me like two or three times. They really should have included like some sort of navigation here because just going off with just exploring these areas, honestly, it's not good enough. Jesus Christ, oh yeah. So yeah, that's one switch. As for the other one, the other one is a pain to get because we're moving on to another problem with these types of levels. I mean, you get these arrows on the side, but you know, that's all well and good, but I honestly prefer a radar, okay? like. For these kind of levels, there should have been a radar, but not linear. System is suspiciously weak. What if it was really meant to keep Sonic away? Wait, if that's the case, then what is Gun really after? This right here is the main reason why you need little indicators besides the exclamation point popping up, telling you that um, you're being attacked. You know, a simple radar would have been nice to have. So that, yeah, like that right there. Estimated point pops up, no noise pops up, like nothing. It's just, oh, you're being attacked, says the estimation point. I mean, uh, can it be more alarming? Okay. You know, and the other problem is uh, taking out enemies to open the door, especially when there is a group of them. And as for the health, there are two ways to heal, uh, shoot down repair crates, or get 10 rings. So, yeah, keep that in mind. They really should have spent more time with these levels and just made it more bearable because even though this is a fine oh, it's too windy. I don't know about that voice. Um even though the levels are fine, they needed improvement. What are those creatures on the drawings? But once you know where to go, according to following the cables, uh, you should be all good and boost accordingly because boosting into stuff is fatal.
Uh, but uh, just a quick heads up. Uh, in terms of the oh, in terms of the tales levels, um, I I wish I could say it gets better. Oh, I wish. Because I, I still think there's potential with this. Hey, hey! I think I see a good landing spot. This time, landing gear is all set. Yeah, because you don't want to reap what happened in Adventure One, you little bastard. So yeah, um, not bad, but not good either. I honestly wish they spent more time with this. Where did the plane come from? What is that thing chasing us? I don't want to find out. And here we have Look. these. I can't see anything through this sandstorm. Second tail stage. Escaping the gnarl. And even though this is a little bit better. Uh, I can barely say the same for the ending of this, so, yep. This one, more linear than, uh, the previous one. Which is a plus, because you're not just flying around trying to figure out where to go and what to do next. But this one is more hazardous than the last because you gotta escape all of these, um, yeah. Earth like bodies. Tails, go up! Hold on to something! Then avoid this big guy. So yeah, gotta do uh yep, full circle. <laughs> okay. So yeah, much better because it's linear, for the most part. But, um... You know, what can I say at this point about Tails levels, man? They really should have improved it. Really just spent more time with it. You know, because I, I played Star Fox before. And normally that's what comes to mind when you think about these kind of levels is, you know, you fly a plane, and, um, you know, it's on the rails, or sometimes it's uh, all range mode, where you can fly anywhere, but for levels like these, where you're searching around, destroying enemies, and shooting switches, and the levels are semi-open world, you know, maybe should have added the means to explore these areas better. I think the Chaos Emerald is giving this snake energy. Let's try knocking it out of its head, okay? It's actually a Chaos Diamond, but yes, you have a boss fight. And if you're not careful, that happens. This thing will show from the ground like the worm that it is. And we'll attempt to bite them. And here, just struggling to keep the health up. We have to just aim for the head and should be all good. A 
Like, I'm really trying not to make it complicated than more than it needs to be. Oh, boy. So, yeah, I'm gonna start from scratch, but, um, not that much of a deal breaker because this thing can go down uh, in a matter of seconds. But yeah, still practice extreme caution because this thing... Ooh, boy, is a heavy eater. Quite the heaviest of all eaters. Oh, look, the performance kicking up again. Seriously, man, I, I optimized it the best way I could, and yeah, you still get those moments of slowdown. But I still hope, despite that, that it's still bearable. Not sure what to say about this boss fight, really. Like, I think it's bearable, not, you know, excruciating. Eh, but still, jeez. How they're using the forecast version of the Sonic Air soundtrack. Oh, I hate it so much. You won't get away, Eggman! Also, nice callback of the first episode. We can't allow him to get that emerald! The tornado will stop him, Sonic! Fire! Yeah, like something like this, please. Hey, Tails! This area is protected by gun. Be careful, buddy. Behind us, like if it plays something like this, Tuzzles will be fine. Why are they attacking us and not Eggman? Tails, watch out! Oh no! One of the engines failed. We're losing speed. Sonic, hold on. Sonic? Huh? I'll distract them so we have a shot at taking the emerald before Eggman. Cover me on top, buddy. Good. And this will do it for episode two of Sonic Omens. Um, not a bad start, but it does progress uh, somewhat sloppily. Anyway. Uh, please stay tuned for episode 3 of Sonic Omens as they continue their pursuit all while being pursued. So until then, look forward to it.